Tens of millions of Americans are dealing with dangerously high temperatures, with many areas in the western U.S. hitting triple digits. It has been hot all around the country. In Houston, we could cook eggs on the sidewalk. Hello, and welcome to Texas, where every year when it gets hot, your truck bed cover starts to fall apart every dang year. So this is a BAK Revolver X4 rolling truck bed cover. It rolls up like this out of the way and I like it because unlike some of the other rolling mats on the market, it rolls up outside the truck bed and not into it, taking up space in your bed. The only problem is that every year when it gets hot, this felt right here unglues itself from the bed cover and falls down, creating a big sticky mess. So quick recap in case you missed the first two videos about this same truck bed cover. Uh, I bought the truck and the bed cover in December 2018 and six months later when it started to get hot in Texas, the same thing happened to the first bed cover. The felt started to fall off. So at that point in time, I thought maybe it was just a manufacturing defect. So the bed cover has a five year warranty, contacted BAK, they sent me a new one, put it on, no problem. A year later, guess what happened? The felt fell off again. Obviously not a manufacturing defect at that point. The glue on this thing is just, I don't know, it doesn't like the heat. This truck gets parked outside, it gets real hot, and it just, it just melts right off. That's all there is to it. So once again, contacted BAK, and over here we have a replacement bed cover. Except this one is gonna be a little bit different. So this is a new model of the same rolling bed cover, but it doesn't have the felt on it. So let's go ahead and install this real quick. We'll take a look at it. Actually, I lied. Uh, on my second video, there was a lot of different opinions about what this felt is actually for. So we're gonna, we're gonna settle it once and for all right now. Some people say it's for keeping your hands cool when you're rolling up the bed cover because this gets really hot, which it does, ouch. Uh, other people say it's like structurally I don't know, integral to the bed cover rolling up. And if you take the felt off, it'll just like fall apart. So let's, let's rip it off real quick and see what happens. Don't need you. Ow. Cause you're worthless. Come off. There we go. This one too. All right, and then we're gonna roll up and see if it falls apart. Whew. So it's not falling apart, but it is kind of hot. So maybe it's just for keeping your hands cool. In which case, honestly, I don't see why they even bother with it. Like you could use gloves or just, you know, toughen up or something. I don't know. And one more thing real quick. So in order to continue your warranty support with the bed covers, they ask you to destroy each one in some way. They keep changing the way they want you to do it. So my first one, they just asked that I destroy it. So first we rode it in a field. <laughs> then we shot it to see if it was bulletproof and then we blew it up. So I sent that to them. They accepted that as evidence of destruction. Second one, they asked me to cut an X in the top of it before they would send me a replacement, which I thought was kind of dumb. Like then I had to drive around with an X in my bed cover for two weeks while they got around to shipping me one. Uh, this new one though, all they've asked is that I drill three or four holes in the bed cover and send them a picture and that will reactivate my warranty support for the rest of the five years. However, after installing this new one, I hope I don't need any more warranty support. We'll see, but holes, replace, catch up with you then.
it all swapped out here. So let's take a look at the latest in truck bed cover technology. So this is actually the X4S. It's not the same model as the old one that we took off. So this one, as you can pretty quickly see, it's not aluminum on the back. They have powder coated it black here. You also don't have felt anymore. You have these little rubber strips here and they don't really, they don't lock into each other, which I think once again proves that it is not, the felt anyways was not structurally critical to the bed cover. So it, those people who are saying it's probably for heat purposes, I think they're right. Another improvement is whenever you roll it up here, these uh, clips up top are different. So on the old X4, whenever you rolled it up, you had these traditional, I don't know what they're called, these kind of clips to, to clip your bed cover holder into. And the problem was whenever you get the bed cover up tight, you can't get that clip in and out. It's, it's stuck by the bed cover. So these new clips that the X4S came with, they go down here and they go in straight like that and then lock into place. So you can get the bed cover rolled a lot tighter and still get your clip in and you don't have to roll your bed cover back and then push it forward to get it to clip in. Another improvement was the uh, these four bolts down here that hold the bed cover on. They actually gave you thumb screws for them this time if you wanted to use thumb screws so you can make it like a, a quick remove just with your hands bed cover. Uh, I chose not to do them because I never take this thing off but if you want a quick release, kind of quick release, you could have that. One problem I've noticed right away though is these end caps right here. So if you look here, we got these plastic end caps on the X4S. On our old X4, they did not exist. So the bed cover just went all the way to the edge. You had whatever your weather stripping over here, but there was no plastic cap on the end like it is up here. And the reason it's gonna be a problem is that the way this locks down is you have to press on the back side of the bed cover and you can already see this is flexing right here. So over time, this is gonna get a lot of wear and tear on it. And all that's holding it in is these two little clips right here. And I already had one of these fall off when I was assembling it. So I think it's pretty safe to say these are gonna fall off. So you can see how easily these pop off. Just like one finger here, a little bit of pressure, right off. I think this falls into the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it category. And unfortunately they fixed it. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to put some glue on them and hopefully they will stay on. Okay, so with that, our bed cover is on. I mean, it, it looks just like it did before. The differences are, they're, they're inside, they're baked in. So now that we've drilled the three holes in that one, we'll send a picture of that to BAK. That should keep our warranty going. Still got two years left on the warranty for this one now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is coming off right now because I like things simple. But if you like the new bed cover, don't forget about that thumbs up icon and I could actually use y'all's help. So we got two old bed covers here that have been quote destroyed. That one has some holes in it. This one has an X in it. And we've had a few different ideas as to what we could do with these, but um, we just haven't done any of them yet. So if y'all have any ideas, let us know. I mean, I just hate to see it go to waste. It's like, this is a total of what, like 11 feet of rolling aluminum at this point. I feel like we could do something good with it. Also, don't forget about the subscribe button because uh, our hitch holster over here that we made, I've got some ideas for improvements for that. So stay tuned for an episode on a new one of those. And until next time, I'm just gonna try and find somewhere to store all these until we figure out what to do with them. I'm a pack rat, see you later. thumbnail right now. Hope I don't drop it. And one and two and one and two. I guess I'm not gonna have to go to the gym today. Oh, get down. Yeah. Good bike. It's the mailman. They might think this is a little weird if I don't stop. Sorry, my neighbors already think I'm weird. Not FedEx too. I wonder what their opinion of me is.